Tara Reid, who accused the president of uh, sexual assault back when he was a senator, suggested that maybe her complaints are in those records. Who knows what else is in those records? You know, Biden talks about his calls to Putin when he was a senator. Well, wouldn't that be interesting to find out what's in those records? We were in Dover, Delaware. Dover is the capital of Delaware. And uh, the Delaware Supreme Court was hearing a challenge by Judicial Watch and the Daily Caller News Foundation, um, a challenge trying to uh, vindicate the people's right to know under uh, the Delaware uh, State Open Records Law. Uh, We wanted access to the Biden senatorial records that he gave to the University of Delaware But now the American people can't see one of those documents. And the initial deal, which we still can't see either, was that he they would be released a few years after he left public service. But then, of course, he ran for president. So they used that as an excuse not to turn any of the documents over. Tara Reid, who accused the president of uh, sexual assault back when he was a senator, suggested that maybe her complaints are in those records. Who knows what else is in those records? You know, Biden talks about his calls to Putin when he was a senator. Well, wouldn't that be interesting to find out what's in those records? So Joe Biden, with the snap of a uh, snap of his fingers, assuming he's cognitively capable of doing it, uh, could have these records released to sweet. But he's uh, he's hiding behind the University of Delaware who is not return, re- releasing any of the records. And the fight legally is over whether government documents, excuse me, government money, state money is being used to house these records and whether that means that they should be released, which is important. And secondly, though, you know, one thing we're asking about, what about the deal that Biden made with the government here or the University of Delaware? Why can't we even get records about the deal? And they don't want to turn those records over to us too. Uh, so those records over to us too. So this is a this is not only a cover up of the records, but it's a cover up of a, of the cover up of the records. So uh, our lawyers, uh, we had a Delaware team in Delaware um, argue for Judicial Watch, which filed the lawsuit, and our co plaintiff, uh, Daily Caller News Foundation, before Delaware Supreme Court. It's available online, so I encourage you to watch it. And it seemed to me, and it's always hard to tell through oral argument uh, where where the courts are going to go, but sometimes you get a feel for it. And the judges seemed a little bit skeptical that we should take at face value their uh, their assertions that no government money was used to house was essentially thousands of square feet of records. I think four thousand cubic square feet or something like that. And they're having they would have us believe there's no money involved there. And uh, they don't want the open records law to be used to get those records. And as importantly, they don't, as I said, they don't want us to find out about this secret deal that he made with the University of Delaware. So we'll see how the court rules. But I mean, this is so, you know, I, I, I'm the president of Judicial Watch, but I, and it, I, but I love Judicial Watch, not because I'm the president, because I'm a citizen. And uh, this is the sort of work that's just so great because no one else is willing to do it. We began this litigation back uh, during the campaign. I think it was in 2019 even, maybe before the campaign. Well, as soon as we found out about the deal. And uh, no one else was interested in doing it. The media is not doing it. He's the president of the United States. We, 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 of course, we want to know about his records as a public official in the Senate. And we're up there doing, as I often say, the heavy lifting all alone. And if Judicial Watch doesn't do it, no one will. Actually, we got a few other groups out there that might do it too, but, you know, uh, practically speaking, no one else is doing it. Certainly not in the measure that Judicial Watch is. So, I mean, we've had Andrew Cuomo. We've had the Me Too movement. We have significant and substantial allegations of sexual assault against the president. And there could be answers in the documents up there. And Judicial Watch is the only one demanding access, isn't it? It's incredible, uh, but it's frankly par for the course here in this decrepit city. So uh, pray for the wisdom and discernment for uh, um, 
uh, that God grants the court wisdom and discernment and, uh, uh, and, you know, and they follow the law, rule in our favor. So let's hope we get the good result there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.